It's been a while. Um, I'm just going to show you today um, the gifts that I bought for my kids and Plus One. I'll tell you a little bit about Plus One. Um, we have four children. Our youngest is 11. And then we have a 16-year-old, an 18-year-old, and a 24-year-old. And our 24-year-old got married in the past year. Um... So that was our daughter, our one and only daughter. She got married. Um, so we do have gifts for her husband that are going to be included in this. I just didn't give his age because he's just one of the kids. And I just piled him all in there with them. Um, I'm not done shopping. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have so far. And maybe it'll give you some ideas for your loved ones. Um, I really do not know where to start. See. Okay, well, we'll start with our, our daughter and our son-in-law. Um, our, our daughter and son-in-law, since, since they got married, we've decided they don't have children right now. So we've decided that what we're going to do is we're going to buy mainly practical gifts for them and mainly uh, kind of, you know, on the small end. We're not, you know... Our younger kids at home still will get probably more gifts than they do, but we feel like they're adults. They should understand that. And once they uh, have our first grandchild or a grandchild, um, then we'll probably shift our focus. So they would probably get one family gift, and then you know our grandchildren would get the majority of the gifts. But this year is our first year being married, so. What I did was, is I got a gift for him, a gift for her, and then the rest of their gifts are combined. Um, she loves pigs. So, I don't know if you've ever seen these shirts before. The, what are they called? Southern Couture. And this one's one of the Dance in the Rain shirts. It's got the pig on the back. So, I got her that. Um, and then for her husband, he's more of a gamer type. So, last year, they were dating um, and, and engaged. Um, I got him stuff for that, but this year I decided to do something a little different. So, I got these plain gift bags, and and I got these, actually I'm going to do this for our sons too. Uh, and I made my own little like toiletry set kind of things. Um, I got him some body wash, some razors, some shave gel, a new bath poop, and then I'm going to fill it and put it in this bag. Okay, and so that's the two individual gifts that they got, something kind of smallish. Um, I can't find them right now, but I did buy them uh, five gift cards. Four gift cards are food gift cards because they, they have to travel a lot to see us. They have to travel to see his family. So I got them that. So those total up to be about $200 worth of gift cards. So they, even though they got these little small gifts, they do have, you know, they're getting quite a bit of money. Only it's in gift card, you know, form. Uh, the four gift cards were food related, like I said, for them to travel. And then I got them a one big gift card from Walmart. That way they can, you know, they can either buy stuff for the home or they can buy food or, you know, whatever they want to do. Okay, so that's what they're getting. All right, let me start with my next oldest. Um, our next oldest is 18. And he is into guitars. He uh, talks guitars constantly. He's obsessed with them. He builds them. That's his one thing that he's really obsessed with is making. Um, so, I'm going to show you this, but I have no idea what it is. It's something he requested. So, he actually knows he's getting it. The rest, some of this he doesn't. But, uh, he knows he's getting it. It's some kind of, I don't even know. Um, a mixer, I think. And then he needed this adapter thing to go with it. So, I don't know what that is. But usually, like last year, we had getting guitar strings, all this stuff, because he was in the middle of building a guitar. This is just for, I think, playing it. 
Um, I got him, we got him a Stevie Ray Vaughan shirt because that's one of the you know, people that he likes. I also got him something for his room. So that's always a good idea to get him something for their room, their phone, their car, whatever. I got him something for his room. It's a, uh, it's just a 3D nightlight kind of thing. Not that he needs a nightlight, but it's just something kind of neat that he can just cut on. Too bad I couldn't find a neon sign. That probably would have been fantastic. But there's always next year. So I got him that. This one is in the shape of a guitar. Um, and they're on Amazon. So a lot of my stuff this year, by the way, has come from Amazon. Um, he needed some more headphones. So we got those. Okay, I have no idea where I got these. Some of the stuff come from Dollar Store, some of it come from Walmart, some of it come from Amazon. Those are my three main places. So I'm not sure where I got these at. I may have to ask one of the other kids, but um, probably Amazon or the Dollar Store, I'm not sure. Um, and then also I got him a thing for his car. Um, it's a... Um, little organizer thing for the back of the the front seats so his sister has one I got one for her one year well they're actually coming in set of two but uh, I got them from um, Amazon so he liked that and it'll help him organize which he's not that great at but anyway moving along oh and one of my kids I've got a 16 year old I am not going to show you his things because he's the one that edits my videos and I do not want him to see when he got it. So, we're, we're going to keep that a secret. Um, but I hate that I have to keep it a secret because this really, really good ideas. He's my creative boy, like, very creative. He's my artistic one. He's the most artistic and most creative of all the kids, and he's more into that type of thing. Uh, you know, painting, drawing, stuff like that. So I really wish I could show you all his things that he's getting because it, you would, it's really good ideas. But anyway, um, the next thing will be our 11 year old. And so each, each, we try to do like one big gift or one expensive. It's either big or expensive. Most of the time, now that they're getting older, it's the most expensive one for them. Um, and then I'll try to get all the pieces that go to it. So if like if it's a camera, it needs a case, and it needs a strap, and it needs film, and it needs this, and it needs that, you know, whatever. But I try to get all that, and that'll be the one big gift. Um, years past, we've gotten them digital cameras. They, uh, not digital uh, regular cameras, but digital movie cameras. Um, and they have, they love them a lot. They love them so much that they break them. I mean, they just end up breaking and falling apart. And then we'll next year buy them another one. They made movies for a long time. Our 11 year old, poor thing, he's, you know, the only one at home right now. So he, uh, not the only one at home full time, the only one at home most of the time because the other two boys are working. And our daughter, of course, you know, lives in another state. But, um, so he, he's kind of left by himself as far as playing goes and coming up with things to do and things like that. We also got our youngest, a nightlight. Um, the one we picked for him was pandas. It, it's a panda bear. Um, and basically what it is is it's a piece of acrylic and then it lights up behind it, I, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, and it's a different color or stuff like that. It's just not even, it's just kind of like a little cheap gift. It's not even anything but it's something I'm sorry it's something for their room so we had already decorated the room and I need to show that but um so I couldn't give him that for Christmas it was just something else to add to it I guess um he also got one of these things it's called a flat ball so you throw it like a frisbee but I think it turns into a ball or either you throw it like a ball and it turns into a frisbee I'm not sure I just, I thought it was neat. He's into like, you know, little neat things like this. So I got him that. Um, got him this. He is really into 
uh, making movies, just like his brothers were. Um, he's also likes to, uh, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but flip books, like when we were kids, kids would draw, not me, because I was not creative, but they would draw on a, like a, a book or a uh, pack of paper and they would draw different little scenes or whatever and then they would flip through them and then it would it would be kind of like an animation kind of thing like a moving picture uh, so I found this kit I lose Amazon um, and it's got it's called a flip books kit and it's actually got it's supposed to have a light box in it so it's actually got a uh, is it called light box no, it's like the, you know, the tracing thing. So it can it'll light up and he can trace on that. So it's a little kit from Amazon. And that way he can make his own little, whatever, books, cartoons, however you want to look at it. So that's one thing that we got him. And then for his big gift, we got him. I may have to take it out of the plastic. I got him a camera. It's a, it's a Kodak camera. Um, and I got him the case for it. And I got him the film for it. So that's his big gift. Um, so I got all that. That's what all this is. The little case that comes with it. But this too. So we got the whole little set. He's also into um, anime. So he wanted this movie. And it's... I don't really care for it much, but we kind of researched it and it wasn't too bad, so we got it for him. And it's just used off of, uh, I, think, I think I got that on there too. And it's just a used little movie and he really wanted it, so we got him that. He needed new headphones. And these I got at the dollar store. They were 10 bucks. So the reason why a lot of times my youngest one, I'll get him the cheaper versions of everything that he got, his brothers got, is because he... He either loses them or breaks them. So, and then the last thing is, he doesn't really get a lot of toy toys anymore. And he's not really into Legos anymore. He has exhausted that. Like, he has so many Legos now, he doesn't even play with them. And I don't even think I can open this. Let's see. Open up a little bit and show you. So, we got these little things. I think they're called squishies. I don't know. But they're like, or plushies. They're like little stuffed animals. We got it. It's, it comes in a whole set. This one's a panda. The pig and a cat. I don't know. They come in a three piece set, and it was uh, on Amazon. So let me see. Oh. Yeah, and then my two older boys, this is one thing, this is another gift idea I had come up with. They're all about their snacks. I don't know if it's a teenage thing, probably. probably is. But what I was going to do was make them a gift basket of snacks. Uh, their favorite snacks. One one boy is uh, doing a keto diet, the other one isn't. So, the one that's doing the keto diet... Um, he's into like sugar free stuff and trying to find things that he can have you know it's been real difficult for him so I'm gonna be making I got these from Walmart um, I wanted something better looking but I figured they could also use this in their, in their room once the snacks are gone they can actually use this basket to help organize the room because they've been really into that this, this year um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with their favorite drinks, chips, you know, candies or snacks or, you know, just whatever. I'm still in the middle of getting all that done. Um, so, that's another gift idea that you can do, especially for your older kids. I see a lot of younger kids, um, you know, on YouTube, the, the ideas for the younger children, but I don't see a lot of them for the older kids. But, you know, my boys are into t-shirts, and I, so I get them, like, funny little sarcastic saying type of t-shirts or something like that. Or, like, last year they were, you know, into, like, a lot of clothing and stuff like that. Um, so they got new shoes, new this, new that. 
of their own electronics and then food. Stuff for their car, stuff for their phones. So that, it's really hard to buy for them the older that they get because, well, I mean, it's just harder. It's more like we used to with our little ones, when, well, when, when our big ones were little ones, um, they were only allowed three gifts a piece. And that was a way for us to save money because there was four kids. But also, you know, just kind of kept the main thing the main thing. And so, uh, as they've gotten older, we've had to adjust that because it's just, I can get them for gifts, but it's not, it's not going to cover much. Because we also had a limit of $100 per child. So three gifts and $100 per kid. The older they get, I mean, $100, one gift would be $100. You know, so it, and the older they get, the harder it is, believe it or not, um, to come up with ideas. And then they don't, they get to where they just don't even know what to ask for. They just don't even know. Because, you know, they basically have everything. So, um, that just gives you kind of a little bit of ideas with, you know, with the um, toiletry bag that I'm making for our son-in-law. It just, it's just like a little throw-together thing. And I'm going to also do that for, um my sons as well and then like I said my 16 year old my 18 year old will get this filled with snacks and, and the drinks we got the drinks too so I've already gotten the drinks I've just got to get everything else but that's just something for them to have and then they have this little this little handy thing here to help you know decorate the room with and stuff like that so that is it this year because um, I don't have a rest of it to show um but that gives you a few ideas, hopefully, to come up with something, you know, that uh, your kids may be interested in. I will be showing a um, stocking stuffer video, hopefully, in the next few days. I've got to go get the stuff of that and finish that up so I can show you what we'll, we're going to put in their stockings. Um, we have one girl, and we have three boys, and now we have a son-in-law. So there's four boys and a girl that we have to buy for. And I'm pretty much done with our daughter. That was pretty easy because I'm a girl. She's a girl. It's not that hard. Um, but with the boys, it's harder. And they're all older except for the 11-year-old. But maybe I can give you some ideas for that. Um, and we also have a Five Below shopping haul that's coming up too. So I'll show you that. We're going we're gonna to probably get... I got a lot of their uh, stock and stuffers from Walmart, but by below, I'm going to go there to see what they have as far as stock and stuffers go. Alright, well, I'll see y'all next time.